Hi guys, it's Kat. Today, I'm going to show you how to make this miniature replica of real terrain. This dry rocky landscape is perfect for dioramas, and I'll be using this one for a Halloween haunted house. Let's get started. The first thing you'll need is a platform base. I'm using this 12.5 by 9.5 inch MDF board. Because this will be the base for a house, I first outlined that area. Next, take some regular green felt and some fabric glue. This is the foundation for our grass, so cover all the areas that will be outdoors. Grab some reddish brown acrylic paint and cover the bare MDF as well as some areas of the grass. This is pretty random. With some dark mustard paint, add some more random splotches across the grass. We're going for the look of dead desert landscape. Add some light mustard yellow across the grass and on top of the bare MDF interior. I had to remove a bit of the felt on the interior, so I went back in with dark brown acrylic paint all around the inner perimeter. The future house will be on tiny stilts, so I'm adding those in now. For some texture, let's make some hay. Take some twine or rope and unravel a segment from one end. It pulls apart pretty easily and the fibers are pretty thin. Once you have that, cut off some short lengths. This will give you what looks like dead grass. Apply some watered down glue and place your grass on top of it. Do this randomly all across your terrain. I love how this looks. Lastly, let's add some rocks. This is super easy and just uses regular air dry clay. I thinly spread the clay on top of a piece of cardboard to dry it out. The thinner the clay is, the quicker it will dry. The cardboard also helps absorb the water. You'll notice that it tends to crack once it's dry. Remove the clay from the cardboard and place it in a bowl. I use the back of an X-Acto knife to pound it into smaller pieces. Then lightly water down some gray acrylic paint and mix it into the clay pieces. Here's what it looks like when it's dry. Generously add glue to your terrain and sprinkle the rocks on top. Add some rocks to the top of the grass, randomly or meticulously. You can also crumble the rocks between your fingers for the look of tiny pebbles. To finish, I just apply some watered down glue right on top of the rocks. This will hold them in place. It's a super easy process and the finished result looks really realistic. I can't wait to show you the rest of this haunted house project. I hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and make sure to subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. Bye.